You want this, Chris. You know you do. And I do too. No. No. Don't deny this. Chris. You're wrong, David. I don't need this. Why am I even here? I have to go. Where? Home. To my husband. To my family. Wait a minute. Why are you doing this? We both know you're going to end up right back here. Tad cannot give you what you need. Only I can do that. Since so when do you know what I need? Since we both lost the one person we love most in the world. You want to be closer to me. So do I. Stay with me, Crystal. Let us hold on to our daughter together. Isn't this what you wanted, huh? For me to love you like I love babe? You're freaking me out, JR. Stop it! Well, first it's the dress. What's next, Amanda? Or should I say, babe, you're gonna dye your hair blonde? You look. Get sick. off! Huh? Hey! You do what she says or I'll call the police. She said no, JR. No. What's wrong with you forcing yourself on her like that? I didn't force myself Are you on drinking Amanda? again? No. Are you on drugs again? God, no. You're disgusting. What would Babe say if she saw you like this? Don't. Don't even talk about her. In fact, don't even mention her name. It's all right. He's, he's gone now. I can't believe that just happened. Look, Amanda, you need to call Jesse Hubbard. You need to report this. No, it wasn't like that. Amanda, I know what I saw. J.R. is an animal. He needs to be locked up. But I provoked him. You look at me. Nothing you could have ever done would warrant an attack like that. He didn't hurt me. Because I didn't let him. I mean, look at your dress. It's... Oh, never mind. Maybe. Forget it. Look. I'm sure that something in uh, my dry cleaning here will fit you. Why don't you just take them and go and clean up? Use my bathroom. Randy, I would like to have a staff meeting in my office. Now, things are about to change around here. Big time. Baby, I'm home. Angela? Rebecca? Hey. Not the woman you're expecting, eh? I'm sorry, that was a really bad joke. What are you... Where's Angela? She's at the hospital finishing her shift. Well, you've been released. That's good. Yeah. That's great. That's great. That's good. Um, Natalia and I were on a plane to Denver, and Angie invited me to stay. She did? Oh, okay. I, um, I thought that it would be best for Natalia to be near you when... Look, I know this is really strange. Uh, Jesse, just just say the word and, and I'll go. I'll no, find no, another no, no, place no, no. to stay. This is, I don't... This is, this... No. Angelus, we're going to make it work. We'll make it work. Hey. Hey. I uh, was hoping I would get home before you do. <sighs> what was that for? That was for being an amazing woman. Uh, I'm not that amazing. Yeah, you are. I can't believe you did this. Well, I, I tried calling you. Rebecca, explain everything? Yeah, about how generous you were. 
and inviting her well, to stay? Well, uh, anyone would have done the same thing under the no, circumstances. No, that's not true. Anybody else would have put her on a bus to the airport, not cook dinner for three. She's dying, Jesse. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know what to say. I... You know you don't have to do this. Yeah, you know, I, I, I do, because it doesn't matter how we got here. No one deserves to die alone. She's not alone. Okay. All right, where is it? Where's what? The scotch, the gin, anything. I don't care what kind. Well, now that you're living here again, I, I had him emptied the bar. Oh, yeah, that's just great. I was trying to be supportive, Jr. I just want to smell it, you know. I just want to hold it in my hand. And what would that accomplish? Oh, I don't know. Maybe if I could stop myself from taking a sip, I might be able to control something, anything. Jr. What's happened? My wife died. That's what happened. Is Jenny asleep? Yeah. Like a baby. Kind of works out nice that way. Okay, okay. Look, here's the thing. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I never meant to imply that there's some kind of grief quota out there. You're supposed to feel any way about anything. I'm sorry. I, I know you're just trying to help. Yeah, well, I, I didn't. I miss her. I can't even describe how deep that goes. You know, when I wake up in the morning or after a nap, there is this one second, one beautiful second of peace before I remember that she's gone. And then it just hits me all over again. Someday. Maybe I swear to you, someday. Maybe it's not next week. Maybe it's not next month. Maybe it's not. Two, three years from now, I don't know. But someday, I promise you. That moment will last a little longer, and then a little longer, and a little longer. It does get better. I know, I know. I know you lost Dixie. And you thought you lost Kathy, and I know how devastating that was, Dad, but this is different. I carried that baby. I carried her inside me. And I raised her from the day she was born all by myself. So, tell me what I can do. Please. Tell me, tell me how I can make things just a little easier. You can't. As some of you know, I'm sure most of you do, I assume that. I am... The... Erica Kane. That's right, Pete. Thank you. Well, my daughter Kendall, due to the most unfortunate of circumstances, is unable to maintain her duties as co-owner of this company at this time. Are you here to save our sinking ship? I am here to restore Fusion to its rightful place. But I'm not able to do that alone. So... I would like to introduce you to the two newest members of our staff, Elizabeth and Joanna. They are competent, they are trustworthy, and they are going to be my eyes and ears during my tenure here. Welcome aboard, ladies. Brown knows much. This, of course, as most of you know, I'm sure, is Val. Val is my personal assistant. Hi. 
Val knows my likes and dislikes better than anyone, so listen to him when he speaks. Given my celebrity, I'm sure that my reputation precedes me. But please don't be intimidated. I want you to know that I am approachable. In fact, I am always seeking innovative new ideas. In short, my door is always open. Oh, that's great, because I actually have a few ideas oh, about Oh, great. Thank you, Petey. Just not quite now. So, in order to re-establish fusion at the top of the heap where it belongs, there is quite a list of things we need to do. At the top of that list is finding the new face of fusion. 